it is time to explore another crucial aspect of our application, namely error handling. This is implemented through a special file called error.tsx. Let me show you how it works. Right now, when we visit localhost 3000 slash products slash one slash reviews slash one, everything works smoothly. We can see the first review of our first product. This URL corresponds to the page.tsx file in our review ID folder. But let's be realistic. Things don't always go perfectly. Network requests might fail and data might be unavailable. Let's simulate an error scenario in our review ID page to see how we can handle such situations. Outside of our component, I'll create a function that generates a random integer between zero and whatever count we pass in. Inside the component, we will call this function with two as the argument. So the function will now return either zero or one. If it returns one, we throw an error with the message, error loading review. If we refresh the browser a few times, we will eventually see an unhandled runtime error with our error message, error loading review. This is in development mode. Let's see how this behaves in production by running npm run build. Once the build completes, run the command npm run start. Now, when the error occurs after refreshing a few times, we get a generic application error, a server side exception has occurred. And we will see our error message in the terminal error loading review. This isn't great for our users, right? The error message isn't helpful. And worse, an error in our deeply nested review ID component breaks the entire application. We can do better by handling errors gracefully, containing them to just the affected part while keeping the rest of our application running. This is where error.tsx comes in handy. Let's create one in our review ID folder. So adjacent to page.tsx, error.tsx. Here we will define a client component. So use client directive at the top, export default function error boundary that returns a div tag error in review ID. This component acts as an error boundary around our page.tsx file. It is very important to note that error boundaries must be client components. You will need to add use client at the top of the file. Control C and restart the dev server with npm run dev. Refresh the page until we hit the error. Now we see error in review ID, which is the text from error.tsx. Of course, in a real application, you would want to style this properly to match your application's design. But what is great as you might have observed is that the rest of the application still continues to work. We have the header, the featured products from our products layout, and the footer. Only the review ID component has been replaced by the JSX defined in error.tsx. Now this component receives the error object as a prop. So error of type error. We can use it to make our error message more informative. So replace error in review ID with error.message. By replacing our hard coded text with error.message, we will now see error loading review when things go wrong. The error we threw in our page.tsx file. This same message is passed to our error.tsx component. Now here is what makes error.tsx so powerful in the app router. It automatically wraps route segments and their nested children in a React error boundary. You can create custom error UIs for specific segments using the file system hierarchy. It isolates errors to affected segments while keeping the rest of your application functional. Finally, it enables you to attempt to recover from an error without requiring a full page reload. Now that we have identified all the special files in the app router, let's look at the bigger picture. The slide shows us the component hierarchy in a folder. Layout component at the top, followed by template, then the error boundary from error.tsx for runtime errors, a suspense boundary from loading.tsx, another error boundary from notfound.tsx for missing resources, and finally, the page component. With this error handling setup in place, let's explore more advanced error handling techniques as we continue.
Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.